Hey everyone, it's Kai from Cool Collectibles back again for another review. This time it's the Hot Toys MMS 295 Sand Trooper. For all your 1-6 scale figures and more, click the link in the description below to head on over to Sideshow Collectibles. They ship worldwide, so definitely check them out. Alright, so this is another fantastic package by Hot Toys uh, that comes with a heap of accessories as well, so I'll uh, go through all of those shortly. I'll just get him out of the way and give you guys a, a look at the packaging quickly. So it's the usual um, Star Wars style and the box art is pretty good and I do particularly like the um, cover insert there as well. They have done a pretty damn good job with a lot of the cover inserts and uh, this Sand Trooper one in particular is uh, pretty damn nice. Um, so I'm trying to figure out a way to actually uh, try and display those uh, without destroying the actual um, cover itself or um, having to cut it or anything. So um, uh, if you guys have any ideas, uh, comment below in the, uh, the description below and um, let me know uh, what you guys uh, plan to do with uh, your inserts. Uh, but I'll uh, quickly go through the accessories. Hold on. Alright, first up with the accessories is this uh, sand diorama base, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, but I probably would have preferred that they didn't uh, imprint these uh, footprints into the sand. I can understand why they did that, um, you know, with the soft sand and so on and leaving footprints behind. But um, it does restrict the pose that you have on this particular stand. So that's probably the only nitpick there. But um, it is fairly nicely painted and it's got the silver plaque on the front. And you'll notice that it does have a hole here. And the hole there is for this uh, post, this clear plastic post that you can squeeze in there um, and then put the little um, searching droid thing from the good old special editions. Um, so you can uh, attach this uh, to the hole up there. Um, and then if you don't want it on the sand base, you also have this other base here that you can insert the, uh, the post into. It is a pretty tight fit, so just uh, be careful you don't snap anything off when you're trying to inserted in that but that uh, is another display piece there the uh, little droid itself is pretty nicely detailed um, can't remember quite when they introduced these I'm sure it was in the special editions I can't remember these in the uh, first versions um, but um, overall it's not too bad an addition and uh, I guess uh, is a nicer sort of little partner for for the figure uh, floating behind him um, so I'll probably uh, stick that on the base itself um, it comes with his Stormtrooper belt, uh, which is just connected on via Velcro at the back there. Um, and it's uh, pretty nicely weathered, and it's uh, consistently weathered with the figure as well, so um, uh, there's not too much of a glaring difference. And uh, what you're meant to do with this belt is uh, slide these pouches on there. So the pouches are uh, this sort of fake leather material. So you get two of these ones that uh, go on his belt. And you'll notice that on the back is where the sort of leather, fake leather material is unpainted. And you'll see where they've started painting the dirt wash. So I sort of ruins the <laughs> illusion, if you want to call it that. Because um, it's not actually weathered or anything like that. It's just a painted, um, painted. Um, I'm not sure what material. It, it's like a hard, almost a hard leathery type material. But uh, I'm sure it's not leather. So um, they're not too bad. It also comes with this... Um, separate uh, shoulder pouch which is probably the best uh, detailed out of them so it has this sort of side pocket which is pretty nicely done none of these things sort of uh, slide open or so on so I wouldn't uh, try and open them um, but the overall design isn't too bad and this one is more of an angled so it can sort of fit around the the shoulder and you just sort of slide that over the arm but um, I'll set them up later and uh, show you what he looks like all set up so there's that pouch um, and then it comes with a fourth pouch, um, which is a smaller version, which apparently goes on his back, or the small of his back, which um, I'm not sure why uh, you would put that on, or if you can even put it on uh, once the backpack is on there. Because um, uh, I just noticed I've got my deluxe uh, Sideshow Sand Trooper, and it also has this, and I never actually put this on the figure, because, well, Sideshow never had the instructions, uh, so I never actually knew where it was meant to go. And with the backpack on, I don't even think there's any room for it anyway. Um, so um, I'll uh, give you guys a look at uh, all the comparisons between them, the uh, the various pouches and so on um, in a second. But there's that. Um, then of course there is the Stormtrooper Blaster, which is the same as the uh, the Hot Toys um, regular Stormtrooper. Uh, but of course it has a bit more of a weathered effect to it, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, so it's got uh, just a bit more of that uh, dirt wash 
and the sort of brownish, um, almost a rust look to it. Um, so that's uh, pretty nice and of course it's got the usual uh, feature where you can uh, pull that down and swing it around um, and so on. So uh, I'm not sure how many people actually use the blaster in that particular mode but uh, I guess uh, it's always good to have that uh, particular option. Um, I'll just grab the Sideshow Blaster. Um, so this is the Sideshow one um, from the Deluxe Sand Trooper. Um, and let me just uh, get the Hot Toys one back to its regular uh, shape. Alright, so you'll see the Sideshow sculpt is pretty much identical. Um, but of course uh, the Hot Toys one has the extra bit of detail where the holes are actually see-through where the Sideshow one it's just a molded bit of plastic and of course the dirt wash on the side sh on the Hot Toys one is uh, better I guess the the Sideshow version is about uh, three to four years old now so um, I guess uh, the improvement in Hot Toys is probably expected uh, but the molds themselves are actually very very similar um, so not too bad on Sideshow's part um, the next weapon is this long heavy blaster which uh, I think Think was included with the storm uh, the stormtrooper two pack and maybe even um, the the Chewbacca enhanced set as well. Uh, but again, it has a bit more of a, a dirt wash to it, uh, which is a nice variant. And uh, the sideshow version is right here. Um, and actually, um, it's a very similar mold. I'm actually struggling to see if there are actually any uh, major differences at all. So I'm not sure if. Uh, I did hear that uh, uh, Hot Toys uh, did make some of the weapons for the older Sideshow figures so I'm not sure if uh, they've just reused um, a very similar mold. Now, there are some differences, you can see if I'm holding it it's, uh, up like this the Sideshow one is probably slightly smaller and uh, of course it doesn't have the same um, sort of uh, realistic dirt wash to it but uh, overall um, the design is uh, pretty good and again, you can see the Hot Toys version has the detail in the, the holes are see-through, where the Sideshow version is not. Uh, but uh, still, the, the Sideshow version does hold up uh, pretty well after um, uh, three to four years, so can't complain too much about that. And of course, uh, for some reason, I just noticed the, the Sideshow version has a glossy, uh, what do they call this, the, the bit that lies up against the shoulder, I guess, whereas the Hot Toys version has the sort of weathered look to it and a bit of a dirt wash and sand and so on in the handle so um, overall not too bad but uh, again the the Hot Toys is a definite improvement um, the next accessory is this uh, I can't remember what the model of this this sort of elephant looking thing at the front here um, Sideshow also has that particular version and again uh, very very similar um, even the Sideshow version has a nice sort of uh, wood look to the the handle there um, the Hot Toys version uh, I actually prefer the um, the Sideshow to be honest um, but the uh, the Hot Toys version does look a bit more weathered and so on as it does throughout all of that and you can sort of see the uh, sand getting caught in there and so on whereas the, the Sideshow version uh, has a little bit of that but uh, not too much um, and I just noticed that there is a slight difference in the moulding here so you see the Sideshow version has this little handle thing here uh, but the Hot Toys version does not. So I'm not sure um, what's up with that, but uh, I guess there are some similarities and differences. Um, so, you know, the Sideshow, or the Hot Toys version has this little hat thing on there, and this, the, hot, uh, the Sideshow version has a slightly bigger one. Um, the Sideshow does have the nice strap, fabric strap, and the metal pins and so on, and uh, the Hot Toys one here um, has something similar as well. So. I guess uh, it's got the extra detail in, I guess, uh, gold-covered um, or bronze-colored uh, clips and so on. Um, and you can sort of uh, slip this over the front here so the, the hook here just comes off and you can just uh, slide it over the, the barrel. So um, overall, not too bad again and nicely weathered. Um, and Sideshow's version does um, still hold up pretty well. Now I guess the Sideshow Deluxe Sand Trooper did come with another rifle, which is their, I've no idea what this model is either, but uh, I have seen this on some of the um, smaller scale figures, and this one Hot Toys did not bother making in 
uh, their new figure or including in their new figure. So if you've got the deluxe version of the uh, Sideshow Sand Trooper, um, this is, or I guess it's definitely worth keeping at least to have this variant of the rifle which is uh, still pretty nicely done and weathered. So um, I guess uh, it's a shame that Hot Toys didn't uh, include one of these as well, but uh, I guess they've included uh, quite a bit of um, other stuff as well. Uh, the Hot Toys also comes with the uh, binoculars. Now I can't actually remember if uh, it's uh, it seems similar to the ones that uh, Han and Luke uh, used on Hoth and the Hoth figures, but uh, there's probably a slight variation to it. But um, it is pretty nicely weathered and so on with um, some of that damage um, and the sand looks so um, it doesn't look uh, too bad. Um, of course, it comes with a range of hands as well, so you get the uh, sort of relaxed open palm hand whole bunch of fists and uh, the gun holding hands on both the left and right hand so and you you of course get the uh, the just the normal sort of uh, relaxed palms as well default on the figure so overall not too bad and the weathering on the armor itself is a uh, pretty subtle um, and I do prefer it over the hot toy uh, the sideshow version in that the the weathering actually looks like it's um based off of on top of a uh, shiny armor that uh, you would normally expect a, a brand new trooper to have whereas the sideshow version is really some sort of matte um, finish to the armor itself so it doesn't have any any sort of um, uh, shininess to it at all so I do like uh, that on the Hot Toys and of course the last accessory is the backpack itself and the Hot Toys version is just feels very flimsy so you can see it's sort of flexing there so I'm not going to try and um, bend that too much but uh, I guess it is pretty movie accurate um, and you can see that it has these straps which uh, the instructions seem to say um, you need to sort of uh, take off and then uh, adjust on the figure so I'm just I'm, I'll be trying to see if I can slide these uh, through the arm somehow uh, which uh, might be a bit difficult with the uh, um, two arms of course uh, but uh, we'll have to see and I do notice that the Hot Toys figure does not have a magnet on the back uh, to help this sort of sit in place because uh, the Sideshow version did have a magnet and it really did help the backpack stay in, stay in place and the straps were just um, really for aesthetics to, to be honest um, the Hot Toys version does come with uh, the little clip that you, I think you just uh, clip onto the side here, similar to the, the Sideshow version. And it also comes with, um, I think the longer version of the, uh, whatever this fan thing is. And I think it comes on, clips on there like, like so. The Sideshow version actually did come with two. So the, this is the Sideshow one. I think this is the shorter version um, on the Sideshow and I've got the, the longer version on the figure itself. So, um, Overall, um, the Hot Toys version uh, does look pretty nice, um, but it's uh, the Sideshow version again uh, holds up, holds on its own, so not too bad there. But uh, now that I've gone through the accessories, I'll uh, grab the figure and give you guys a quick comparison between that and the old Sideshow Deluxe Sand Trooper. Hold on. All right, so here is the old Deluxe Sand Trooper from Sideshow, and as you can see, it still uh, looks pretty damn good. And I guess the body itself is uh, probably not as good as the Hot Toys True Type um, and there's absolutely no way with the backpack on that I could ever get this figure to stand on its own. Um, there's just too much weight on the backpack um, and I haven't actually put the backpack on the Hot Toys version yet which I'll do in a second to see if it can actually stand on its own but from the photos I've seen um, on the web so far it, uh, it looks like it can. But I'll quickly go through and compare or and show you the differences in some of the accessories. Um, so there's the shoulder pouch um, on the original uh, Sideshow version there and you can see it's pretty much hard plastic um, that's sort of just painted brown. So the Hot Toys version here um, with its sort of uh, fake leather look and uh, that sort of dirt wash um, does actually look uh, quite a lot better than this sort of hard molded uh, plastic. So definite improvement there and that's similar uh, to the pouches on the belt here. So if I just scroll and screw, zoom in there. So it's the same sort of hard brown plastic, um, but uh, the Hot Toys version here with um, the sort of grey leather look um, 
has probably a bit more subtle detail rather than the, the hard molded plastic. Um, the backpack, so I'll just uh, give you guys a look at that. The backpack in size is pretty, pretty similar and the details are pretty much um, on par. And I guess uh, going by the pictures on the web that I've seen there, there were quite a number of variants of the backpacks um, with, you know, I thought, I thought I saw some modules where this was up over here and these things were sort of moved all around. So I guess um, there are some differences here. Um, so you can see some of the differences in how that sort of laid out. So either way, I'm not sure which one's uh, most accurate, but um, based on what I've seen, uh, it, it could probably match a whole bunch of uh, different variants that they had in the movie. So um, overall, not too bad. Um, and as you can see here, uh, the sideshow version, um, there is a magnet that sort of holds it in place um, and keeps it fairly firm. And so you can essentially just clip it on. Um, and these straps here um, are pretty much just there for aesthetics, which uh, probably you don't even need because um, uh, I guess you, you can probably just see the strap coming up underneath here. Um, they're not really all that noticeable, to be honest. Um, so um, I guess uh, it does sort of complete the look, but uh, I would have preferred that magnet definitely on the, the Hot Toys version. Uh, but uh, with the figure on the side just here, I'll uh, grab the Hot Toys version now. On the side here. Um, and I'll just uh, try and stand him up. So you can pretty much feel immediately the, the firmness in the ankles and, and the body itself. Um, whereas the Sideshow version, I guess if I took the backpack off it probably could stand on its own. But uh, Either way, you can definitely see the uh, the darker armor and the weathering on the Sideshow version. So it de definitely looks like uh, this guy's been on Tatooine for <laughs> probably a decade longer or so. Um, there, there's no sort of shininess to the armor at all. It's uh, all matte um, and the weathering is pretty damn heavily applied. Um, so you can see his legs there. It's like he's uh, you know rolled around in some bloody bantha uh, shit or something. But uh, the Hot Toys version here isn't too bad, I guess. For some reason, I've seen on all the Hot Toys figures, there's this bit on the chest here that uh, is a bit more heavily applied. Um, but everywhere else, it's pretty much a subtle application of that sort of dirt wash, particularly darker in the grooves and so on. So um, the helmet-wise, I would say they're pretty much on par with each other. Um, I wouldn't say they're identical. Um, so I'm just trying to spot some of the differences now. Um, there are probably molding differences on the the sides here. So you can see uh, that grey sort of piece is a bit larger on the, the Sideshow version. Uh, but both of them uh, do look uh, pretty damn good regardless. So I can't say uh, the Sideshow sculpt or the Hot Toys sculpt is uh, better than the other. Um, they're pretty much uh, the same. And I guess uh, I'm just having a look now. You can see the green tinge um, in the Hot Toys eyes, but um, you can't really make that out on the on the Sideshow version. So maybe that's uh, one area where the Hot Toys is probably a bit more uh, movie accurate. Um, the armor itself, similar to, I guess, the armor on the uh, old Sideshow uh, Stormtroopers and the uh, Hot Toys new Stormtroopers. The chest armor is uh, probably a bit wider and bulkier on the on the Sideshow version, whereas the Hot Toys version is a bit more streamlined. Um, I can't uh, remember ever being able to take off this belt um, on the Sideshow version, so I'm not going to try doing that. Um, but uh, overall, um, you can see sort of differences in the cod piece and so on. Uh, the Sideshow version is, uh, I don't even think he's connected at the bottom, it's just a, a floating piece down there. But the Hot Toys version actually has a strap uh, that goes from the front to the back. And on the sides here, it's uh, actually free floating on the side, so there's nothing holding it together there. Whereas on the Sideshow version, I think it's probably glued on um, on the sides there. So there are some, some differences there. Um, the th leg armor oh, pretty much looks the same. Um, I guess I did notice on the Hot Toys version, uh, this uh, sort of knee piece is a... Uh, sort of angled a bit out on the Sideshow version here. I can't remember that being so pronounced and uh, you can see that uh, it doesn't have those sort of edges, um, but uh, I guess that's just a, a bit of a minor minor difference in molding, so nothing too major there. 
Um, but other than that, the, the armor pieces are pretty much uh, very similar. Um, and I guess the feet, the shoe molding on the, the side of uh, the Hot Toys version is probably a bit nicer um, with some of that uh, molding detail and the, the weathering. Whereas the, the old Sideshow version is just this sort of darkish brown. Um, but uh, overall, I would say the Sideshow um, Sand Troopers um, still pretty much uh, hold their own against this new Hot Toys version. Um, the pauldrons, uh, the deluxe um, figure came with a this greyish um, sort of one um, and a white one, uh, which I have here as well. And it's this sort of uh, soft fake leather type material, which is pretty nice. Um, I decided to use the, the black one just for a bit of colour. Um, this uh, Hot Toys version um, also has a bit of a nice sort of fake leather feel to it and it's a bit thicker um, and it does have that sort of uh, leather sort of strap around the, the sides there as well so that's not too bad there. Um, I did One thing I did notice though, um, my pauldron has this weird circle and I think it might be a marking from the actual packaging so if yours has that as well um, let me know in the, uh, the comments below because um, uh, I guess it's not too noticeable on display but um, I guess my eyes did uh, go to that particular circle when I pulled it out of the the packaging. Um, but uh, let me, yeah, let me know if uh, you've got that as well. Um, but uh, other than that, um, it's a pretty damn good comparison, um, and the Sideshow version does uh, look uh, pretty good. So I wouldn't be getting rid of uh, any of your Sideshow Sand Troopers um, and replacing it with the the Hot Toys versions uh, just yet. Um, but um, for now, I'll. Uh, put everything back onto the Sand Trooper um, and let you know how I go. Uh, I'm not going to try and put this backpack on, on camera because um, uh, it does uh, look like a pain in the ass to be honest, but um, I'll try and do it off camera and uh, uh, give you guys a look at uh, what the final setup figure looks like. Hold on. Alright, after a lot of fiddling, um, I finally was able to finish putting the backpack on him and I can tr honestly say that it was an absolute pain in the ass. Um, the fact that they did not include a magnet really made it a uh, hundred times harder than it uh, really needed to be. Um, and I guess I did uh, end up uh, putting the pouch on the back there. Um, so I'm not sure if that's the correct way of doing it. So um, let me know. Uh, but that's uh, pretty much the only way that I could sort of see uh, it uh, looking half decent. I guess without the pouch there, the backpack sort of tended to sort of just rest up against his... Uh, butt armor here and uh, it sort of tended to make him lean backwards a little bit so um, I'm not sure if uh, that's uh, totally correct but uh, let me know and these pieces here I've just sort of uh, connected them on the sides here I'm not sure if uh, that's uh, overly correct here uh, I guess uh, this piece is just uh, sort of jutting down and uh, knocking against this um, I definitely think it uh, would be better if it was a longer version uh, like the Sideshow one where it uh, hangs down a bit lower so uh, but other than that, um, getting these straps on, um, I tried a number of ways of uh, you know, trying to loop it over the, the pauldron, etc. And it just wouldn't work, so I ended up uh, following the instructions, I guess, <laughs> um, and trying to tie them uh, together. Uh, so you pretty much you take them apart and then strap them around. And you're trying to, it was a pain in the ass trying to squeeze it under this pauldron, um, and then uh, trying to, to tighten it. Um, and then trying to tighten it on both sides to keep it even. Uh, was a uh, yeah a bit of an exercise in frustration, but uh, after about 30-40 uh, minutes, I managed to get it to half decent. So at least it looks um, sort of straight at the back here. So um, hopefully uh, that's the last time I have to actually touch this thing. Uh, the uh, backpack itself, you really do need to be careful about uh, this frame because it is very fragile and it does bend quite a bit. Um, but uh, it is pretty lightweight. Um, and so as you can see, um, there is no problem at all with the Hot Toys figure standing on its own. So that's probably um, one thing that uh, is much better than the Sideshow. But I guess with the Sideshow version, um, I guess even the backpack, I would say the backpack looks just as good. Um, and even without the uh, butt uh, pouch, um, it does look uh, pretty nice and even. So. Um, I'll probably try and put that uh, pouch on the uh, Sideshow Sand Trooper just uh, to make things uh, identical. But um, as you can see, both figures are pretty damn awesome. So in the end, um, it takes a bit of effort. Um, it, al it also took a bit of effort to get this bloody um, pouch on the 
shoulder here to just to squeeze it up the arm um, and luckily uh, nothing snapped um, so uh, that's probably the last time I'll touch that shoulder pouch as well um, but uh, overall once he's all set up he does look pretty damn awesome uh, the articulation wise it is pretty restricted with the shoulders and um, with all of the uh, um, cables and so on that uh, you have to put in there but um, everything else is pretty much identical to the previous stormtroopers so double jointed elbows um, all the all the ankle motion, double jointed um, knees and elbows, sorry, um, and the head is probably uh, restricted by um, the the pouch here. But uh, you can sort of futz around with it and get some pretty decent poses out of it um, that I've seen on uh, OSR and the Sideshow Freaks. So that's pretty much it. Um, overall, I would say um, it's worth getting if uh, you're a fan of the original trilogy. And I wouldn't say it's a huge upgrade to the Sideshow version. It is an upgrade and uh, it is good that the body is nice and firm um, and can stand on its own. So um, it's probably best uh, to get that figure um, if you don't have the Sideshow figure. Um, but definitely don't get rid of your Sideshow ones if you have them. So uh, hopefully you guys like that uh, look at the Hot Toys Sand Trooper. Um, hopefully you can click that subscribe button and stay tuned for... That's probably my last 1-6 scale figure for the year. Um, it doesn't look like uh, my Vader or Princess Leia is going to get here uh, this year. But I do have uh, at least three more Masterpiece Transformers. And I still have all of the Combiner Wars waves uh, coming up next in the, in the next few reviews. So hopefully you can stick around for all that. Um, thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.